Doing household chores all day long is very energy consuming. But haven't you heard that labor work doesn't really give any exercising effect? Do you really need to go to the gym to work out and lose that unwanted extra pounds, although you had already moved and sweated so much doing your household chores? Even if you have been eating healthy with a strict healthy diet, whether to lose weight or to stay healthy, you may sometimes eat food that are far from staying lean and healthy. Because you may eat out with your friends or families, or maybe simply just because you couldn't control your appetite. We often feel very guilty when this happens. Since I study every day on how to eat healthy and live a healthy life, honestly, I often get really guilty and even feel sick after eating deep fried food or desserts covered with sugar. However, as we've heard so many times in our lives, everything depends on the mind. Our bodies are so amazing that it reacts to how we think. So let's check out the reason why we should change our thoughts and minds to stay healthy and also to stay young and beautiful. First, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell to be the first one to find out my new helpful videos. Saying that manual labor doesn't have any exercising effect is actually half true. It only applies to those who believe in it. Manual labor, in fact, can be a good way of exercise which indeed can make you lean and healthy. Ellen Langer, a social psychologist and the professor of Harvard University, has published the study of hotel maids and the exercise habits to prove this placebo effect which shows that the mind can affect the body. Out of 84 hotel maids, about half of them were just simply told that what they did every day at work involved some serious exercise. The basic message on how much calories are burnt on each activity was also posted in the maids' lounges as a reminder. On the other hand, the rest half didn't get any of those information and just did their work as usual. What do you think had happened after four weeks? Those who had been informed had remarkable change in their health. They showed a decrease in weight, blood pressure, body fat, waist to hip ratio, and body mass index. On the other hand, those who hadn't been informed had no significant changes. Well, we should definitely change our mindsets and think that we're exercising whenever we do any kind of physical activities as it can really give that exercising effect. Now you may think the hotel maids had physical activities anyway, so it's not all about the mindset. Well then, can you believe that just by your thoughts you can reverse aging? You'll be astonished if you get to know this counterclockwise study by Professor Ellen Langer. In 1979, Langer recruited a group of elderly men in their late 70s or 80s and surrounded them by things from the 50s to have a reminiscing time as if they went on a time machine. She wanted to know if she could find any biological changes by just acting as if they were living in 20 years back in time. Within just one week, unbelievable things happened. Those elderly men showed dramatic improvements in their hearing, memory, appetite, and general well-being. They also showed great improvements on joint flexibility, finger length, and manual dexterity. One of elderly men who couldn't walk without his sticks before the experiment started walking without his sticks. In 2010, BBC Broadcast recreated a similar study in a show called The Young Ones. Six well-loved British celebrities have agreed to participate in the experiment and turn back the clock for a week. At the end of the week, 88-year-old Liz Smith walked for the first time unaided without her sticks since her stroke. Deepak Chopra, who was selected by the Time magazine as one of the top 100 heroes and icons of the century, said, The normal experience of the body and its aging is a conditioned response, a habit of thinking and behavior. By changing your habits of thinking and behavior, you can change the experience of your body and its aging. Now, what about the food we eat? Can we make junk food a bit less unhealthy by just having a different mindset? And also, how should we think whenever we have our meal? In one study, Swedish and Thai women were fed a Thai dish that was too spicy for Swedish tastes. The Thai women liked the dish and absorbed 50% more iron from the meal than the Swedish women. 
When the experiment was reversed and the women were served food favored by this Swedish woman, such as potatoes, beans, and hamburgers, the Thai woman had 70% less iron absorption compared to the Swedish woman. It's really interesting how our thoughts are related to the absorption of vitamins and minerals. There are numerous studies proving that there is an intimate and dynamic relationship between what is going on with our feelings and thoughts and what happens in the body. Of course, having a healthy balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle is definitely the first condition to stay healthy. However, if we take care of our feelings and thoughts along with them, we have a better chance of living a healthier and happier life. We may sometimes want to indulge ourselves and eat whatever we want regardless of the nutritional value. When you do that, you should definitely not feel guilty and just be thankful and enjoy your dish. Also being conscious of the vitamins and minerals in the food you eat every day and thinking of how it'll work in your body could help the absorption of vitamins and minerals. Never forget to think that you are exercising whenever you are doing any kind of physical activities, such as doing household chores, so that every movement of yours will burn that unwanted fat off your body. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.